You know, when you, uh, when we grew up in a school, uh, we all learned about the Second World War, and uh, uh, it was obviously one of the big things in history that we all went through. And we knew, I would say, well, somebody more, somebody less, but we knew all the basic information and all the big information, how it all happened, how it all started, the important dates and important battles. Um, and we maybe in Croatia, especially because we also had a war when uh, Yugoslavia broke out uh, 15, 20, 20, 25 years ago, um, have a direct experience about the tragedies that people could go, go through. And, and uh, going and walking through the museum now, um, I've seen and I've got a lot of information I didn't know, um, a lot of the information that I was obviously really shocked about. Uh, when you walk out, uh, the, the, the goosebumps and, uh, and the energy and the sadness uh, and the respect for the city and for the people that I knew before that Poland is in between, uh, that's where it all started and, and Warsaw was a city that was never defeated, but uh, the number of the people that have gotten killed and the way they've gotten killed and the way they fought their way out and the uprising itself uh, was really, was really uh, shocking and um, with this said, uh, it really gives, um, even though when I came to Warsaw, I had a huge respect for the size of the country, for the history of the country and the city and the club, but it's even, this even multiplies it 10 times more. And I can only say uh, a, a huge, huge respect uh, to the dead people and to the people that actually fought their way out and, and built this beautiful country and the city and the club.